to stop because I still can assign without darkness and you can succeed without hardship. Hello everyone, with due respect to everyone, it's me, Prapti Mandavi, from representing Black Bright Future School. And as you guys all know, I'm here to present about my speech. This is not a speech for me, it's my thought and my opinion about something which really matters to me. And there's something I would like to state as state a topic. And the topic for today is, our sexuality doesn't matter. If some of you know, the sexuality is simply a part of us being a human being. But it shouldn't be the factor of how we see and how we see others and ourselves. Our sexual orientation um, shouldn't be the basis of discrimination, hate, and prejudices. We shall know. We shall know that. We shall know that everyone has their different preferences, different sexual preferences, and it is a part of their identity. We should be accepted and respected. And whether a person identifies as gay, bisexual, asexual, trans, or any other term, they shouldn't be discriminated, discriminated, discriminated by because of their sexuality. Some of you, or most of the people in Nepal, are homophobic. And I'm not proud to say that. Because many of the people in Nepal think being a part of LGBT community is a curse. But let me tell you the truth about it. Being a part of LGBTQ community is a beautiful religion for me. A religion which is itself created by God. A religion which is different from others. A religion which is itself different from any other thing. And a religion which has no space for hate. And, a, and lastly, a religion that I can never express in words. But unfortunately, our society has a long history of treating people differently di differently because of their sexuality. Individuals are getting harassed, bullied, bullied and they are, they are getting bullied, harassed because based on their sexuality, which is totally unacceptable. Yes, this is very unacceptable in the people in Nepal. So, being a part of LGBTQ doesn't mean that you're not human. That doesn't define you as less of a human or doesn't make, give you the less of the human rights. It is totally, totally okay to be born of the LGBTQ community. They have done nothing wrong to us. They have not harmed us. They have not done nothing, no, nothing to us. For example, do you have red blood? So as they. Do you have feelings? So do they. Do you need self-respect? So do they. So, just because of their unique sexuality doesn't mean that we can discriminate them against their own rights. And loud and proud to say that, I am very glad that I'm part of a human being, part of the race that is that is very supportive to us, and supportive to us every culture and religion and every sexuality. But for me, I'm very disappointed with the Nepali people, yes. Most of most of the Nepali people are homophobics. Let me tell you what is homophobic. What is homophobic means? Homophobics are the people who doesn't support or hate the LGBTQ society or doesn't support the unique sexuality of them. So uh, I want to talk more about them, but I will. I would like to talk about the credits. The twenty percent of the credits goes to Chat GPT for giving me some points to the speech, and for the, for the rest eighty percent, I would like to thank myself who wanted to do something better and unique for the awareness of the different sexuality. And I would like to stop my speech right here. But before I leave the stage with honor, I would like to give a last message. Our sexuality doesn't matter. Thank you.